welcome to the video lecture on introduction to array using C programming. At the end of this video lecture, students will be able to demonstrate the declaration and initialization of an array and will be able to explain the concept of memory representation in an array. The following topics will be discussed in this video lecture. Array, declaration of array, memory representation of an array elements, initialization of array. Array, need of an array. Consider a scenario where you want to store one student roll number, we declare one variable. In the same way, in order to store roll number of 100 students, we need to declare 100 variable names. Remembering 100 variable names and handling this variable names in the program is quite complex and tedious task. Therefore, we can use the concept of an array which will make which will allow to store and access 100 values using same variable name. In this way, array is useful to make code simple. Definition of an array An array is a collection of data elements of the same data type arranged in continuous memory location. Example, maybe a collection of integers, a collection of characters, collection of doubles. For example, if I want to store marks of pi students, I can say it as float marks of pi. So it will be stored at marks of 0, marks of 1, marks of 2, marks of 3 and marks of 4. The different marks stored are 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So how is the array declaration done and how is initialization done will be discussed in the next slide. In order to declare an array in C, a programmer specifies the type of the elements, name of the array, and the number of elements required by an array as follows. That is type, array name, array size. This type of array is called a single dimensional array. The array size must be an integer constant greater than 0 and type can be any valid C data type. For example, to declare a 5 element array called amount of type int, use this statement int amount of 5. Here amount is a variable array which is sufficient to hold up to 5 integer numbers. The size of this array will be 10, 20 bytes as 4 bytes are required to store one integer constant. Float salary of 10. Here salary is a variable array with sufficient to hold up to 10 floating point numbers. The size of this array will be 40 bytes as 4 bytes are required to store one floating point constant. Character name of 10. Here name is a variable array with sufficient to hold up to 10 characters. The size of this array will be 10 bytes as one byte is required to store one character constant. Now we will be discussing about the memory representation in an array. Suppose we have declared an array int amount of 4. All the array elements will have garbage values assigned to it. All arrays have 0 as the index of the first element which is called the base index and the last index of an array will be total size of the array minus 1. So it will be amount of 0, amount of 1, amount of 2 and amount of 3 and this will be there will be the different address location like 2686728 for amount of 0 and 2686732 for amount of 1 2686736 for amount of 2 and 2686740 for amount of 3 so these are the different address locations so when i assign a value to zero, index 0 amount that is amount of 0 equal to 11 the above statement assigns the zeroth element in the array with a value of 11. Pictorial representation of the array we will discuss above is shown below. That is amount of 0 will be assigned 11, amount of 1 will be assigned a garbage value, amount of 2 garbage value that is the junk values and amount of 3 will also have a garbage value. Now this address locations are differing the difference between their address location is 4 bytes. It means the size of the integer is 
4 bytes. Now we'll be discussing about how we, how we will initialize an array. Initialization means giving some initial value. The initialization of an array can be done either in a single statement or one statement as follows. Int amount of phi equal to curly brackets 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The number of values between braces cannot be larger than the array size. If the size of an array is omitted, an array just big enough to hold the values initialized will be created. That is int amount square bracket 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Then float salary bracket 2 that is square bracket 2 is equal to 10,000, 2,500, 50,000. In this array, I have initialized the array with an array size equal to 2. But I am assigning 3 values which will create an error, error during the execution of the program. Character n, empty square bracket with empty value equal to a, b, c, d where a, b, c, d are all character type of constants. It's a character array. It's also called a string. Then int a, c, c, i, d 4 is equal to 0, uh, 102, 104, 106. In this array, I have initialized the the array with array size equal to 4 but I am assigning 3 values to array elements. One of the array elements will have a garbage value or junk value. The garbage value is 0 for integer data type, 0, 0.00 for floating point data type and null for character data type. Now pause this video for a few seconds and try to write answer to the question. Which of the following is correct array declaration for storing bank balance of 5 persons? The first, portion, uh, first option is float balance curly brackets 5, float balance square bracket 5, float balance round brackets 5 or it is all of the above. So when we had declared the array declaration it meant it should mention the data type that is first three all, all are the same. Okay. Next, bank balance, it means balance is the data type or the uh, balance is the variable name. So then five persons, it's correct, all three are there, okay. But the main thing while declaring an array, it should have square bracket of five. So float balance square bracket five, it means the option or the answer for your question is option B. Now we will be writing a simple program to find sum and average of marks scored by a student in six different subjects. Each subject has having maximum marks of 100. So this whatever program will be done using your code blocks software. So we'll be uh, declaring a variable for marks. Okay, that is int marks of six. It means six subjects, so six int marks of six. So the array size is six. Then I'll use i variable for that is loop counter. I want to marks of zero, marks of one, two, three, four, five. Then I say float average. Now I have to find the sum value, sum equal to zero. The starting sum is zero. Now, then I'll use a for loop for i equal to 0, i is less than 6, i plus plus bracket printf, enter the marks scored. to go to the next line then scan f percentage d comma and marks of i so this whatever the thing i have written in the loop it means it should ask the user to enter the marks 
scored in different subjects, six different subjects. So it should be repeated six times. Then I'll say sum is equal to sum plus marks of i. Ending with a semicolon. I'll come back. Now, final what is that? I want the average to be printed. Average is equal to sum divided by 6.0. Now, what should be printed? Average and I have to print also the sum value printer percentage d comma sum ending with the semicolon then I'll say go for build it says zero errors zero warnings then I'll go for compile the total marks is percentage D and the average marks is percentage F. I'll compile it. Go for compiling. Build. Compile. Run. 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 8, 90. So the total marks obtained is 480 and average marks is 80. These are the following references. Thank you.